Today we're going to talk about when to exit a project. This is very tough and very hard to do because you have to take your emotions from the project and put them aside and do what you think is right. And that's what I plan to do in this video. I'm going to go ahead and explain a project that I like and that you've heard of and why I'm exiting it, even though it's still doing pretty solid. And if you haven't guessed, it's going to be Farmer's World. Before we get started, I need to say a few things. I know I see this often. This is not financial advice. I'm just a gamer, but this is more important than ever now because if you listen to me and I'm wrong, you're going to dislike me. And if you listen to me and I'm right, you're going to love me. So do your own research, please. Make sure you go ahead and look through everything that you see and find out what your decision is. It's your money. It's your crypto. Do it your way. I'm going to also link a video that I watched earlier today from CryptoPunk because he was talking about all the benefits. So after this, you might want to watch that and compare them and feel if which way is right for you. Let's go ahead and dive in. What am I doing? I was not planning on making this video right now. I have a bunch of other stuff to do, but I had to stop and I feel like for me, it's time to exit Farmer's World. I don't want to. It's one of my favorite games to play. I'm not going to lie. And it's going to be very difficult to get rid of. But you know what? I feel like it's it's not sustainable where it's at right now. And let me go ahead and show you the graphs here and show you how it's going down. Unfortunately, yes, I'm going to be selling when it's low. It's something I don't like to do, but I have no choice in my thoughts. And I'm going to share them with you. If we go to gold. You can also see it's low. And then we can go to wood, which is my main concern. And you can see where that's at. And it's still pretty solid for wood. I think it's still a good price where it's at. The tools aren't too bad right now. So I think now if it does drop, it's good for me to get out. I am already even with this game. I crafted a gold membership silver. And once I did that, I was able to sell that and buy most of this stuff. And I put the other half in Krypton. So with that said, this is going to be profit. And I like profit. <laughs> I'm going to take this profit and I'm going to put it into two land sales that I'm aware of and I'm going to work on getting that passive income. This is nice. You can say it's passive, but you're still clicking. When you buy land, it just flows in <laughs> and that's what I want. That was the ultimate goal of starting this. Play some games, start in the beginning the clickers. After the clickers and I got an idea, move to the more advanced games. When I'm in the advanced games, figure out the strategy, make profit, get out when it's still good, and invest that somewhere else. So the games I have decided to invest this in are Wrath of Tezka, Century Train, and NFT Panda, maybe Krypton. But I do already have a lot in Krypton, so I'm not sure. So those are the four games that I'm going to be considering putting this into if you are curious. And with that said, I might just save a little. And when something new comes along, I might just go into it. What am I keeping my eye on that I'm not playing? Goldmond. I think that's a very good formula. And I think it's very similar to Farmer's World. And it even takes a step forward with the disease aspect. And I think that's a really great idea. So I'm watching that like a hawk. <laughs> I just haven't committed. So with that said, why do I think now's the time to leave? Let's go ahead and bring up my video from seven days ago. We're going to bring this up and you can see the screenshot here. We're going to talk about chainsaws. The chainsaws are important. There was 56,274 chainsaws. That is a lot of chainsaws. And that was seven days ago. I wonder what we have now. We might even hit 60k chainsaws, right? No, not 60k. <laughs> More. 70k you say? Nope. More. Let's go ahead and show you. We look here and we can even refresh this because I mean, in the amount I took a shower, it went up. So I'm just going to refresh this and I'm going to highlight this. And you're seeing 82,900. 12 chainsaws have been crafted since I started this video. And that is a lot of wood. Let's go here and we're going to put 82,900. Now, if we go into this new tool that I found, again, Cyberpunk showed this to me, so check out his video. And we're going to use this here, and sorry for the advertisement, sometimes it gets a little rough. But we're going to go ahead and choose wood, and we're going to choose chainsaw, and it's going to show 
how much wood it produces a day, which is 1,296. Now you could even do this weekly, but for this, this is fine. So let's go back in here and we are creating 1,296 wood a day. And you're gonna be creating the same amount with this many saws. Let's go do the math here. We're just gonna take 56, 274 times 1296. And that's a lot. We'll go ahead and just say 73 million to keep it nice and easy. And now let's go ahead and go here. 82,900 times 1296, 107 million. We went up 34 million wood being produced in the last seven days. Plus, more chainsaws are being created with this huge 107 million wood. And this is daily. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of extra wood. Are we getting new players? We are. And that's why it's not bottoming out. But is this sustainable? Absolutely not. It's going up so fast that it's just going to go ahead and tip over at some point. What do we need? Well, you need some type of burn mechanic. You need an update. And they've been very quiet about an update, so I'm worried that one's not even coming. It might be. It might drop tomorrow. But for me, this is pushing it. I have some other things I can invest into that I think are good. I can take my one investment and spread it into two or three solid investments and go from there. And if we go here, you can see on the same tool, seven days later, it is almost 83,000. There is definitely being a lot of chainsaws created. And yes, the other things are going up as well, but chainsaws is the most important because with chainsaws, you create other tools because you have so much wood. And because you're creating more, it just keeps going and going. And wood was always the most expensive thing. So for me, I see the numbers going and I feel like it's gonna collapse. And because of that, I wanna get rid of all my stuff while I can. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Again, do your own research. Make sure you're sure of what you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this stuff. Now I do currently have corn growing and unfortunately I'm just going to sell everything and even my food stuff and I'm gonna just buy food to be able to produce the corn for the rest of the week and then close out. So I'm completely closing. If they do drop an update, ah oh man, too bad. I'm gonna keep following it though and I probably will do more videos. I'm just going to stay out of it for now because Unless something changes, this is not sustainable. Again, not financial advice, my thoughts, my math, no one else's, but you can double check it and see how it acts. So with that, I thought you'd wanna be here for the hard part, and that's gonna be the removal. I just went through and repaired all of them. I'm only four coins short of getting a membership crafted, so maybe I'll just buy those quick and go ahead and do a quick membership and see if I can make a little extra gold. Let's do that. All right, let's do this. I never craft the bronze, but might as well go for it. I'll get something extra and I won't have to go through and set up 56 coins for sale. So let's craft and see what we get. Anything better than food is awesome. If we get food, oh well. Go to the chest, see what we got. Food, all right, we got food bronze. That probably sells a little more. $85, we'll take it, that's extra in our wallet. So I'm glad it went with food instead of being wood. <laughs> now we're just gonna go and remove them and all you do is hit remove. And I'm gonna miss this game. I really did enjoy it and I already messed up. I forgot my counters are still going for my memberships. Let's go ahead and remove everything else and get rid of everything else at least. I'll just go ahead and get those tomorrow. Buy fishing rod, buy saw. By fishing net. So I got a while till I do this. Unfortunately, I completely forgot. I saw the regular counters and I thought I was good. I'm going to go ahead and sell those and see what I can get for them. I'm also going to sell all of my wood and all of my gold. I'm going to look for the exchange to be a good price. It's at 8% right now, so I'm going to wait. I'm just going to type in here because a lot of times when I type in here, it changes, but it's not. 8% is a little higher than I want. So I'm going to just try it again later because I'm taking out so much. I'll try it in an hour and then withdraw that. I'm going to put my tools up because those are the things I'm worried about the most. I think these might drop, but they won't drop really fast. 
Here we go with the farmer's world. Let's see where we're at. Fishing net, 262. Saw 408. Ouch, it went down a lot in the last half hour. And fishing rod is even down. And the bronze I want to put it up right away. 219 is what I'll list this for sale. Hate selling the fishing rod so cheap. Let's just look at the net and see there are a lot. Because there's so much volume in this game, if there's just one and then there's a gap, you can go ahead and put it higher. But this looks like there's about six underneath here until the, the little bit of a gap hits. I'm in no rush for the money, but I want to make sure I do collect it. I think I'm just going to go 680 and go in the middle here. Fishing rod's going to be the hardest thing to sell. Well, same with the saw. Here's the saw. So you can see here, 440, 427, 415, 408. So people are really dropping here. And I don't want to drop. I want to stay in this area. So I'm just going to hope these four sell pretty quick. And I'm going to go in between the fourth and fifth one here. Because I don't want to appear really desperate. I think 1180 is what I'm going to go for. I don't mind waiting a while. I get 416 back. Spent 512, but it was off stuff that I got. So, yeah, let's go with 1180. And yeah, I remember sometimes when people come and buy these tools, they're buying multiple. They're just not buying one. They might buy two. All right, let's figure out the fishing rod. Uh, okay, so 68 looks like there's where it starts going. So I want to get in between these two. 177? I think we go 177 because I feel like it's already a bargain at that price. There we go. RIP Farmer's World for me. Not saying I'll never play again. If things blow up, if things change, I might buy back in really cheap and build back up. I've already got my investment back and now I could get a lot more. This is $923 if everything sells. Plus I still have my three memberships, two silver wood and one silver food that I can also add on later. So I'm hoping for this to sell and I will keep you updated. If you're interested, I do have a Discord where I do weekly giveaways. Make sure you join down below. We talk all about these projects. Just because I'm exiting doesn't mean I'm not following. I'm still going to pay a lot of attention to this and other projects. So I'll keep you informed of what's going on. And I want to thank you so much for the view.